Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to solve a 4x4 Rubik's Cube. For solving this 4x4, you should know how to solve a 3x3. So, let's get started. So, let's start by learning the notations. In a 3x3 cube, this is called R. And like that, in a 4x4 cube, this is also called R. But you will be thinking, what is this layer called? This is called small letter R. We will denote uh, this layer in capital letters. But in the inner layers, we, in a 4x4, we denote this in small letters. For example, this is small letter R and this is small letter L. Like that, U, D, F, B. These sides also uh, uh, will, will be like that. For, uh, for example, small letter F. And in some cases, we will have to move these two layers. It will be called RW for this right layer. If you are turning these three layers, it will be called 3RW. Now let's learn the structure of this cube. As you see this cube, there are two there are four centers in one side in a three by three cube there's only one center in one side these four centers combine to make one center and these two edges are combined to make one edge the corners are the same like the three by three so the first step that we do in this method is sewing all of these centers and we'll pair off all of the edges. Now it's a three by three stage. Then we will solve like a three by three. Then there will be two types of parties. It is OLL party and PLL party. The OLL party looks like this. Where you have to flip one edge. And the PLL party that uh, you'll be getting in permitting your last layer. It will be looking like this, where you have to swap these two edges or it will be corners. Before uh, scrambling this cube, you should know the color scheme of this 4x4. The color scheme of a standard 4x4 is blue in your front, green in your back, red in your right side, orange in your left side, white in your downside yellow in your upside maybe this color scheme will be not in will be not there in your 4x4 so let's scramble and start solving this 4x4 so let's start with the white center so for making the white center, you should make bars that will be like this. This is a 2 by 1 bar. We will be making two 2 by 1 bars to join one center. So uh, let's learn how to solve, a, uh, solve the first center. So in this case, I have a diagonal centers that is a bad case so let's move it to the up and rotate this this piece when we do I like, do the turn undo then this and this piece should be here so I made a bar here the next uh, by note uh, broken this bar we should make the another bar too for that uh, let's uh, find the another center of white. I have one here and the one here. So when I do put this in this position and match these two like this, then I I haven't broken my this bar. So let's join them together. And the next one is uh, when next to the yellow center. So here you should make bars in this middle layer so uh, let's start with these two pieces um, i have made these two bars bar and when i put this 
my white center is broken. So let's pin this bar to here and fix the white center. So let's make the another bar too. Then when you get this case where you have one center piece here joined and the another in this layer. For that make this way make the rotate this uh, center piece when you do this 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 should be a bar if you do that and do it above then rotate this when you undo it this should be a bar so the next is when you make a bar here you can't uh, if you spin it like this then your under bar will go for that make sure that these two bars are here in the same line then you should I'll kick out this bar here and spin it and solve our white center like that make your last two centers so here I'm uh, the blue is easy so I'm making the blue like the white and yellow center you should make the blue so the next I'm not going to make the green but the red in the right side Like that, you sh now the last two center cases. So if here should be green, but I have a diagonal case here and a bar case in the orange orange one. So I'm going to put this green bar into this push, this side because it's the side of green. Like that, I'm going to put. And we have the next easiest case that we have done. So let's solve the centers. So I have solved all of the centers. Now let's check the, if the card scheme is wrong. No, wrong or correct. Okay, mine is correct. And you should also check it. Now let's pair up the edges. I'm going to choose one color. So here I'm going to choose white and orange. So find an another white and orange piece. I've got this in here. This is a bad case that this should be in not in a one line, but it should be in two lines. So we can pair up that like this. If you have these two in the same line, then move this edge into the other side and pair them like this. When you pair up these, your our centers are broken. So let's pair up the so let's fix the centers uh, by replacing this solved edge with an unsolved edge and fix our centers. Do that for the maximum number of edges that we can can. So I'll put another example. I have these two here. So when I put this, I have this correct. So I'll replace with another, then fix my centers. So do that for all of the centers paired this edge but there's no unsold edge in top or right top or left down so let's move this in this layer there is so I'm going to put this in top or right top or dark then let's let's pair them up okay now I have the last two center last two edges case now th in this situation you sh make sure that the Two edges that should be paired should be in one line. If it's not, then do the edge flipping out. The edge flipping out goes like this: R U R prime F R prime F prime R. Then we are in the same direction. So let's do a U W. Then we have to pair these two. So let's face them two. Then do the edge flipping out. Then solve our centers. Then we have the three by three stage. Now let's fix 
let's solve the 3 by 3 stitch. Let's, you should solve like a 3 by 3. Okay. Okay, now you have the parity. You should flip one edge. The alk is to R W U two. Then move your entire cube to the down. Then do this. R W U two R W U two R W prime U two L W U two R W prime U two R W U two R W prime U two R W prime. Now you have your all okay parties solved. Now let's solve this also like the three by three. Now you have the PO party case. So for this one, I use this arm. Small letter R2, U2, small letter R2, UW2, small letter R2, small letter U2. Then your 4x4 is solved. I hope your 4x4 is solved. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.